lecture number 30 on the general curriculum math subtest. This is a practice test for teachers that are preparing uh, to get their licensure in Massachusetts. This is a requirement for all elementary and special education teachers K through 12. Um, it's also a good test for a, um, math specialists in elementary, middle school, and high school to look at. Right away, just by looking at this, you, you know, you press the, press the button on your screen or the or you turn your page and you see this, uh, right away, big picture observations, you see that it involves uh, graphing. And when we deal with uh, a graph like this, you're thinking algebra, algebraic, uh, algebra graphing. Okay, you might see it's a straight line, so right away you might be thinking of a linear equation. Um, and it's got points on the x and y coordinate. Okay, wonderful. Um, when I look at the, when I actually look at the answer, the question here, it says the graph above represents the equation w x plus 4y equals minus 12. And then it gives me a, a series of uh, values here and it says what is the value of w? This is a cool problem. I was uh, recently looking back at, uh, at linear equations and I was like, wow, there's so many cool so much cool stuff that you can do with this, but we're not going to do that today. We're going to strictly find a way to solve this problem. So let's stick with ways, very basic ways to solve a problem like this. W x plus 4y equals negative 12. I would also start by organizing the values that you see x and y, when x is 0, y is negative 3, when x is negative 4, y is 2. These points are on this line and are represented by this equation. This is our three-eyed monster. You can think of it as graph, equation, table of values, graph. I could use, I could use this uh, equation to create more numbers on the table of values. I could plot these values on the on the graph. I could use the graph to come up with an equation or a table of values. They're all interconnected. But you're just right now looking at, looking at this equation and looking at this graph and creating a table of values. I'm trying to solve for, for W, right? So let's just, very, let's just pick a point here, a non-zero point. So that would be when x is negative 4, y is 2, and let's test it out. Let's say I put when x is negative 4, right? I'm going to input that value into my equation now. When x is negative 4 and y is 2, well, let's, let's rewrite that so it doesn't get all jumbled, huh? So that would be w times negative 4 plus 4 times 2. I'm just inputting in my x and y out. Uh, x and y values, that equals negative 12. Okay, get rid of this for a moment. Well, I rewrite this. How do I rewrite it? I just rewrite it. Not a big thing. This would be negative 4w plus 8, because that's 4, 4 times 2 is 8, equals negative 12. I'm trying to solve for w, so I'm going to minus the 8 on both sides. I get negative 4w is equal to negative 12 minus 12. That's like negative 12 plus a negative 8. Gets me negative 20. But I'm still trying to solve for w, so what do I do? Good. Divide by 4. Divide by 4. w equals 5. Is it that simple? Is it that easy? Yes and no. This is actually very, very simple and very, very complex. But we're not going to go into the other ways of doing it. There are other ways, yes. We don't need to necessarily do them. There's lots of other ways. All I did was, and this is sort of the, this is sort of the big thing. I looked at my graph. I wrote, I wrote down some, a table of values. Negative 4 and 2, 0, negative 3. And I took my equation, I chose this point right here for a very specific reason. So I don't want you to choose zeros. I want you to choose the, the graph that, uh, the values of x that are non-zero. 
So in this case, and that's only it. So basically what I'm saying is don't input the y-intercept, all right? When I do that, I just follow the steps and solve solve for w and it will it will really help me it will it will get you there to the answer every time now if you had chosen 0 0 negative 3 what would have happened is you would have gotten w times 0 plus 4 times negative 3 equals negative 12 so you used the y intercept and i said don't do it well that's going to get you negative 12 equals negative 12 because the w, 0 crosses out the w, cancels it. This is a true statement. So this line, this uh, 0, negative 3 is on the graph. But the thing is, it doesn't help you solve for w. So for a problem like this, when you, when you get to that input-output chart, choose a value of x that's not equal to 0. Or don't choose the y-intercept. All right? Okay, team, the, an the answer is 5. I hope you found this problem helpful. We will take a look at this problem again when we talk about um, linear functions involving point slope form and standard form and look at some really cool things you can do with both of those, okay? Thanks a lot. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.